The relationship with this vortex is everything because it's the relationship with the eternal you with the most expanded version of you. There have been endless ways that man has translated this knowing in, in trying to understand how he fits into the larger scheme of things. And we have watched all of it and been part of much of it. But we have to say to you that never as source energy have we ever found anything more descriptive and more compelling and therefore more instructive and therefore more beneficial than the concept of this vortex and you and your relationship to it. You are source energy beings and most of you aren't living up to it or anything close. You are love in vibrational form and most of you are not even coming close to the love that is truly who you are. In other words, the potential for satisfaction, the potential for a deep and satisfying life experience, the potential for being who you really are and the satisfaction factor that comes along with that is enormous, you see. And as you begin to contemplate this vortex and you make it an actual goal that you are reaching for and you begin to pay attention to whether you're in it or whether you're out of it. And of course the line has to be blurred because it's going to keep moving. Your standards keep getting better. But if your quest is to continually be the fullest that you can be on subject after subject, you will then be living up to the fullness that you've intended. And you get to be the culmination of all that you were before you came into this body and you get to receive the in the moment in this lifetime benefit of all this contrast and what it has caused you to evolve to we so want you to appreciate your participation in all of this but you can't do that without acknowledging that there are two vibrational aspects of you that are playing off of one another constantly and when you put that into perspective then everything that you are living makes sense to you everything that every everyone else is living makes sense to you Esther watches on television with so many other millions of people what happened with Michael Jackson and she has no question whatsoever about how that all came down because she and everyone else has heard enough about it to understand pretty well where he was in the vicinity of his vortex in other words it's not hard to figure that out it's not hard to understand the contrast of his life and what it parlayed it's not hard to understand who he was and what he often felt when he was in in a presentation mode it's it's not hard to understand that what it felt like for him to be tuned in tapped in turned on and how awful it felt to not be in that place it's not hard to understand how he asked for alignment and asked for alignment and asked for alignment and could only because of what he was focused upon actually find that alignment through the death or croaking experience everything on the planet makes sense to you once you understand the vortex of creation and your human response or relationship to it there are no more mysteries everything makes sense